it's time for you to watch a grown man look at a toy catalog. Okay guys, it's time again where I dig through a toy magazine or a catalog and today we're going to look at a 1987 Toys R Us catalog. This was one that, you know, mail in the mailbox, in the mailbox, maybe came with a Sunday paper. Uh, man, remember when the comics would come? On Saturday they were in color and they had Hocus Pocus. Remember Hocus Pocus? He's like, well this picture's here and this picture's here, what's the difference? Never mind, getting off topic here. But uh, we're going to look at this catalog from 1987. So let's dig through it right here. Toys Us, hot toys in stock. See the robot for the Nintendo. If you didn't have any friends, your parents get you that one, make you not feel so alone. I never had that. My friend Boyd across the street, I don't ever remember him playing with it, but I think he had it. I just never really. Uh, it's also by 87, I was getting out, I was kind of hanging out with him as much. Um, but there we go. I only had the regular Nintendo. I didn't even have the light gun. You got a toy vacuum that has the little beads in it that fly with little. Well, not really bees. They're like, I don't know, styrofoam little balls in it. Uh, you got a Barbie on rollerblades down there. What is that? A Sega. Sega trying to get on the act. Nobody want that Sega. What? Little boppers. Oh, God. Not... <sighs> the Muppet, but get out of here. Uh, let's move on before I have a freak out here. Here we go. The keyboard. <laughs> Man, that's not the one. I had a keyboard like that one C with the drum pad on and everything. I had that. I don't know why I wasn't very musical. The only thing I could play on a piano was uh, what's the Ronald McDonald song. Old McDonald had a farm. I guess his name was. Look at that rocking out guitar. That's radical. Look at that. $100. Right there. $39.99. That's that damn answer machine for your radio, for your locker. For your school locker that my aunt bought me, I guess around 1987, was so embarrassing. Ah, I was like, who would who would do that? Who would, you know, you're gonna come back to your locker and it's gonna be just people calling you the N word and stuff. Ah, got a stereo right there, ninety nine dollars. I had a nice stereo. I had a stereo with big towers of uh, speakers on it. it was really cool. Had cassette recording with high dub. Uh, fat, you know where you was it hot dub? Is that what it's called? Where you could record dub a tape? Yeah, fast dub where it was played real fast. You could copy a tape. There's some little boom boxes. Never got into little boom boxes. Uh, there are seventy-seven dollars seventy-seven cents. A little girl sitting in a plastic chair. You got the robot thing right there in nineteen eighty-seven. You got a is that in television? And television was still around. Good lord, there's Atari twenty-six hundred trying to look all sweet and cool. Fifty dollars, man. That's what you drop. There's another rocking USA surfer guitar. Awesome, right there. Uh, open till midnight. Let's see what's on the next page. Oh, some board games. You got a dart board. That's always cool. You got Jeopardy. Uh, you got Boggle Bowl. That must be a sequel to Boggle, the hit game that all Jewish kids like to get for their bar mitzvah. Boggle, Boggle. You got bed bugs. Uh oh. You got therapy. Instant replay. Look at that pool table. It looks like it's fun to you get on, but again, you're like, this is a stupid little pool table. I mean, shit. You got a foosball table. I had a foosball table around the mid, the early, the early 90s, 92, 93, somewhere around there, 94. You know, I saw Chandler Bean have one on Friends, and I had to have one. Uh, you got the uh, uh, football game. Remember, you plug it in, it vibrates, and all the football players shake around like they got Parkinson's disease or something. Uh, another air hockey. Me and my buddy Rush used to love to play air hockey. We go to a little arcade and play some air hockey. Got a pinball machine. Looks like, oh, a laser command pinball game. You got a little hamster in the in a ball. There's old Teddy Ruxpin. You got a talking Alf. Uh, what was that Benji? Benji was a thing then. I didn't know that. Mm, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some girl toys. A fake? Is that a fake Barbie? Hart family. I don't know who Hart is. I guess she never took off. We got a Barbie's townhouse for thirty dollars. A Barbie's gourmet house. A glamour house. Glamour house. Uh, kids' kitchen. We got some My Little Ponies, I think that is. My Little Pony. Uh, got some pom poms. I never bought pom poms. Oh, what was that? Baton, remember that? That was always really girly to have. Ooh, bikes. There it is, right there. 
$99.97. I wanted that bike. In fact, if I found one, if I found one locally that I could buy right now, I would buy it just, just to have it sitting. I would just sit it over here and look cool. I wanted that bike so bad. I never did get that bike. Ain't it weird that you can remember what you wanted so bad and didn't get more than you can remember what you did get? I mean, there's a few presents for like Christmas stuff I remember getting, but for the most part, it's the stuff I didn't get that I really wanted that I remember the most. And let's see what else we've got here. We got a Muppet Baby Playhouse. Get out of here. Got those little scooters, like a bicycle with no seat. They used to hate those. Got old Jeffrey right there riding a four wheeler. And got the rocking horse on the springs. Remember that? I had that. I didn't have that one. I had one like from the 70s or something. But okay. Got an ugly, scary clown. Got a plastic play set that's boring. Got a seesaw on it. That thing ain't fun. Got a uh, Jack in the Box with Big Bird in it. Ugh hate Big Bird. He was a voice and everything. Got a playpen, a box of Legos. Got the most boringest looking slide I've ever seen. Made out of a PVC pipe. Uh, got a bunch of crayons. Good lord, look at all those crayons. Some more drill. Uh, got original Jack in the Box with that scary clown. Got some other things here. Little kid toys. I see a Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. And oh, here we go. We got the Masters of the Universe. My 1987, I was out of Master Universe. I was out of toys. I didn't even remember this line. I didn't know they made a King Ralph. Was that his name? King Ralph? I didn't even know they made King Ralph. Uh, got some wrestling figures. Look at those. What kind of... Oh, they're like Stretch Armstrong, but they're wrestlers. You got the Thunder Cats. Thunder Cats right there. Uh, I can remember talking to a guy today about that. Uh, he's really into Thundercats. And I was like, I don't know why I never got into it. And then I realized the cartoon came out in 85. By then, I was moving out of everything. So, it was a little bit before my time. What? Oh, what is that? Karate Kid Cemetery Playset. That looks awesome. That looks kind of fun. Oh, you got those uh, Supernaturals with the hologram chest. Got some real Ghostbusters down there. It, doesn't say, it just says Ghostbusters Hero. I'm surprised they didn't put real on it. You got the Silverhawks. Remember them? Oh, Air Raiders. Man, that's a cool one right there. What's that? Mad Balls Roller Coaster. Wait a minute. Mad Balls Roller Cycle. I don't remember a Mad Ball. I had to look at that. Is that like an action figure line of Mad Balls? Off the top of my head, I don't remember that. Got some toy guns. Glad to see they're still around. Look at that. Eight, what is it? Not AK-47. Uzi. An Uzi was really big in the late 80s. Oh, look at that hand. Water laser gun. I didn't know they made a glove water gun laser. I would have oh, loved to have had that. Oh, I'd love to have that. Got some racetracks here. Uh, there's the one that goes up the wall. Wanted that as a kid. Wanted that and never had it. Always looked good on the commercial. I bet it didn't work. I bet it didn't work like crap. Uh, got some. Uh, I like the train sets, but they always seem like it took forever to put together. Um, Mad Science. Remember Mad Scientist? I did a whole video on those. There's a little boy dressed like a Mets player. And there's some old-fashioned skates. I guess it's before rollerblades. Was that 16 pages already? Was that 16 pages already? What? Well, we got the RC. We got Jeffrey sitting there taking some notes of what he wants. I didn't see no Nintendo games. Look at that Corp. Look at that Ferrari. You could be like Magnum PI. Let's go back and see. I guess it's counting both. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. It's sure to go by fast. What was that? Racket locker sleeve. What the hell is a locker locker sleeve? I'm glad I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. I guess that was it. I guess that was it. Ugh. That went by kind of fast, didn't it? Well, I didn't want to look ahead because then I'll be already see. I wanted to watch it with you guys or look at it with you guys. Well, let me know something in that catalog that you had or wanted as a kid back in 1987. Or a teenager, a mild adult. I don't know how old you were. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.